He said there's an old man. Check it out. Monkeys. Look at that, that's interesting. But I want to get out to the cable car. Wow. There are houses in there. Oh, yeah. Welcome. You know what to expect. This is a story about Saudi people, not Saudi politics. Today, we're going on a very interesting mission up here in the city of Abba, Saudi Arabia, going to a mountain village. And what is the name of that mountain village, you ask? Al Habala. So from what I was just told, there's a, there's a cable car up there that goes up into the mountains. And so this is a whole different Saudi Arabia. Like, it's cool out. We're up at like 75, I think roughly 7,500 feet. What's that, 22, 2300 meters? And the sun is very strong, but the temperatures are so nice. But hold on one sec, I'll show you how I got here. We're off to Abba. Yes, we'll come, we'll come with In Abba, Mubarak? I'm fine. Fad. We just rented a car, right? Yes. Seven days. Yes. And it's on. Thank you guys. Left's right hand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. That was the first tourism visa they've dealt with. That took about an hour. So here it is. The wheels. The wheels for the next seven days in the mountainside, down to Hello. the seaside. What's your name? Basanta. Basanta. Uh, from Nepal. From Nepal. This is going to be super interesting. I didn't really have expectations, to be honest, but it, first impressions are, wow, it's um, quite well developed. I mean, look at this. Well, you can't really see it. It's night, but already the highway is like built out. There are mega shopping malls and what? What's going on here in the southwestern corner of Saudi Arabia? Not too far from Yemen. So, you know, when you're so tired, you start to do stupid things. I just was trying to get into that car over there for the last couple minutes thinking it was mine so that's the story right now I'm going pretty hard in Saudi it's like there's so much so much stimulation so much to process so with that said let's get on it and so in Saudi Arabia you have to unless you got a lot of time you have to fly everywhere the distances are huge if you look at a map this country is quite big the intercountry flights work very well and then it's a car culture. You very much want to have a car, for sure. Look at it, it's all highways and roads. This is the place to go when in Abba. Because it's an art village. Oh, I love doors. Beautiful door. Very cool. I don't know about you, but I love the adventure of it all. Like just the not knowing is the interesting part. The not knowing and just, well, knowing that it will all work out. You know, set up a basic structure, basic outline maybe, and then just, you know, hit the road, cruise, stop at random places, see different things. Some are interesting, some aren't. You just never know what to expect. It's almost got a creepy element to it since actually you know, I'm the only human pounding this pavement. The capital, Riyadh, Riyadh is very far away. 
So it almost feels like a different country. My first impressions, it's got like a, mm, the people look different too. A lot of the people look different. Well guys, it's probably just as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. Seriously, I've been here for quite some time and I cannot find anybody. There's not one human. I am no authority on Saudi Arabia. Day four, I'm probably just as confused as you are like this, right? Just like that's a old shitty American car that you would see, you know, in a rough part of say Sacramento, California. And what? What's going on? I haven't seen these cars really anywhere outside of North America. If you're a curious person, you'll love Saudi Arabia. Let's just call it that. Because if you wanna not really know what's happening, and not in a bad way, in a good way. If you wanna get into a land of questions and contradictions, this is the place, for sure. The guy in the truck in front of me was just parked under a tree, so I came up to him and I asked him, you know, where's the downtown? Where are the people? So he said, follow me. Overwhelmingly, everyone's been super friendly. There are assholes everywhere, sure. But I've had no bad experiences yet. I've been a little hesitant with saying I'm American. Like, just didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Here's an interesting fact. A lot of Saudis have studied in the US. So they've lived over there and a lot have moved back. I met already two guys in this town at the car rental place that lived in the US. And I asked, hey, is it cool to say, you know, just openly tell everyone. And they're like, yeah, it's actually a good thing. They're super curious and very open to Americans because they haven't really seen any tourists coming here. It's not a plug for the tourism industry. I'm just saying, I don't feel any heat at all for saying I'm from the US. Thought I'd share that. I guess this is the market he's talking about. In here, Center City. Center City, yes. okay, cool. What is your name? Fahad. Fahad, mm -hmm. Peter. Welcome. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. Okay, Come. okay. Oh, the souk. <laughs> So get clothes and all that Welcome. stuff. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Here's the market. Okay. Hassan. Oh, honey. Rajal al Yemen. Yemen. Sure. Okay. I need um, Asba. Asba. Okay. Okay. Honey, la shukran. Asba hari. Ayo. Asba Yemeni. Ayo. Asba Yemeni. Where? Whoa, whoa. Number one. Number one, yeah, Number I, one. I think so. That's like a narcotic. I want to get out to the cable car before darkness and out to the mountains. And here we go, on the highway. And that's Saudi for you, it's traditional markets, and then a Burger King in highways. Quite a few times in this trip where I feel like I'm in the States. I'm in like a, a Phoenix suburb. There's the drive through Starbucks, the big Chevy Suburban. There's a family section of the Starbucks and a single section. So I'm in the wrong place. Monkeys might look cute, but they're not. I remember once in India, a monkey got on my moped seat and ate the thing. It wouldn't let me get on it. They're, they're nasty bastards. At least the encounters I've had. I don't know if this is a different species. They have red butts though, very red buttocks. 
made it. Al Habala, yes. right? Yes. Al Habala. Yes, this is Al Habala. And, and check. Asir, and Asir, King of them, uh, Saudi Arabia. Whoa, that is amazing. There are houses in there, into the hillside. Massive cliff here. That guy over there just asked, who do I work for? And I've received that question maybe 10 times because they don't understand tourists can actually come here now. So they think you must be on a, you know, a foreign worker. So when I tell them I'm a tourist, they're like, whoa, didn't know that's happening. There's some sad stuff like, like that. I can't put the camera on it. There's just like a woman and her child on the side of the road. So even though it's like, the overall feel I've gotten of Saudi so far, it's like, it seems pretty well off. Like you see the, the roads are all nice and um, you know, the infrastructure set up and I, I haven't seen really any homeless people, but you do see the occasional, at least in my four days here so far, just woman and child on the side of a, a store or in the middle of nowhere, like here. And I think they're begging. I don't know if I can approach them or not. It's a weird one. I don't know the rules with that. Like if a woman's in full cover, can I talk to her or not? I just don't know yet. Let's check it out. Salam. Chai? Chai. So corn and tea up here. Not sure what the other wildlife is in these parts. It just seems like an odd place for monkeys. I never knew monkeys lived in the desert. Shukran. This is how many people are at the cable car today. What is it today? Saturday. So I think the weekend here is Friday and Saturday. I thought there'd be a lot of families and people out. Salam alaikum. Uh, cable car? Yep, it's over here. It's there? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's walking or not, but you can check over there. Jamil. When's the last time you had a cable car all to yourself? Now I gotta find the ticket purse. The empty ticket booth for the empty gondola in the very empty corner of the globe. It's quite cool out here. Other than that machine I hear, it's very still, very quiet. Okay, and some buzzing and some bird, but you got my point. A ticket. Shukran. Second time's a charm. There we go. Okay. Love this stuff. This is travel to me. Okay, vacation is one thing. Vacation is go to Italy, eat the gelato, enjoy it. Italy's great for that. What travel is a day like today. It's an adventure, it's a proper adventure. Like, look at this. This is like, sort of like a Grand Canyon look. Wow. Okay. Salam. What a beautiful place. It's you and me, yes? Yes, yes. Just you and me. Yes, I'm the 
What's that? Okay, up there. I think he said there's an old man in the house. Look at that door. I'd seen some stories. Looks like a restaurant. I'm quite hungry. What do you guys think? You think there's anyone here? There's a restaurant scene happening. Maybe. In this place, what the fuck was that? These monkeys, these monkeys scare the shit out of me. That was a monkey. Can I go? Oh. Okay. This is this guy's zone. He lives up here alone. And I guess he takes takes care of it. Yeah? Mm. Boss? Boss man. Boss Ali. Ali. E. Okay, he's not the boss. Ali's the boss. Quite a view you got, man. Jamil. He's from Yemen. Today I'm from Yemen. Yemen. Yeah, yeah. Yemen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mimi. Mimi. Okay, hold on one sec. Here. 26 years. Yes, wow. You like the peace out here, yeah? yeah? Very peaceful. What I learned in this journey, friendly people, wild, rugged landscapes, and a lot of adventure. Tomorrow's gonna be a huge road trip. And if you haven't seen my other stuff on Saudi Arabia, I have all sorts of videos. I'll have a playlist below. Check it out. Thanks for coming along, guys. Peace.